Hello there everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami phoenix by Hongi Wang. It's a complex origami, so it's recommended for you to be experienced in order to make it, otherwise it's going to be too challenging. This one I used a washi paper with 60 centimeters, so it's also recommended for you to use a thin and big paper. So you can use a taiyunryu or a chisu foil or like this one a washi paper. And that's it, let's start! To make this origami, we are going to base here on the crease pattern. You can find the crease pattern in the link in the video description. As it is really well made, it could also be a good exercise to try to make the origami using only the crease pattern, so you could improve your skills in understanding it. So, let's start! So, to make this origami, I'm using here a washi paper, with about 30 centimeters, that would be close to 12 inches. But of course, you can use any kind of thin paper, and I think 30 centimeters is big enough. So, start by folding here the paper in half, like this. Now, unfold the paper and Oh, you also have to fold here the diagonal. I already folded it before. Okay, now you have to fold here the side of the paper up to the middle line. Like this. Now unfold the paper and you're going to divide here these two lines in half. Again. So, you just have to fold here like this, now the top part you are also going to fold here in half. Ok, unfold the paper, now you are going to do the same thing here in this direction. I forgot to mention before, but as you can see here, I'm using a paper with the same color on both sides. And if you if you are using a paper with color only on one side, this side here, the top part, is going to be the colored part. So if you're using a paper with color only on one side, you're going to face the colored part toward the top. Okay, so just fold here. But for this origami, it's recommended to use a paper with color on both sides because the back of the wing will have a different color. Okay, so now you're going to fold here, making this line here, the top part, go up to this first line here. Now unfold the paper and you're going to fold here making this line here go up to the third line. So going to fold like this. Okay, so now you're going to unfold the paper, turn the model to this direction here, and fold making the top part of the paper go up to the first line. So you're basically going to do the same thing here in this direction. Unfold the paper, now you're going to fold here the bottom line up to the third line. And unfold again, and the model will look like this. I made the lines here a little bit stronger to make it easier for you to see the lines. 
Now you're going to make here a mountain fold along the diagonal. Okay, and now you're going to fold making this point here. Okay, this point here, go up to this point here. So pay close attention to this part. Okay. The fold is going to cross this point here. Okay. So you're going to fold only up to this point here. You don't need to fold all the way. Okay, to the end. And you have here this middle line, right? You're going to make a fold like this, making the side of the paper go up to the middle line, okay? And unfold, now do the same thing here on the other side, okay? Unfold, now you're going to fold both sides at the same time, so it's going to look like this, and you're going to press here the top part and fold in the middle, okay? The model is going to look like this. Okay, now unfold, and the model should look like this. Okay, so now you're going to make a fold along this line here. Okay, let me hold the model here in another direction. Okay, so you're going to make a fold along this line and open here this part a little bit, okay, and let me show you here the side, you just have to make, you have to spread here these two layers in this way, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it should be similar to the Tsuru base, to the bird base, okay. Right, now you just have to open here this pocket again, squash here the top part a little bit, okay, just up to this point here. Now you are going to pull here, and as you can see, the model is going to lie flat, the middle is going to lie flat, making here the Tsuru base. Okay, so, fold it strongly, okay, now you are going to unfold everything, and the model will look like this. Okay, now you're going to fold here, making the side of the paper go up to this first line. We're basically dividing here the paper in 32 parts. Now, do the same thing here. Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to divide here this line in half, but we are going to fold it, making a mountain fold, so turn the model over and make this line go up to this line here. But you're going to fold here only up to this diagonal here. So you don't need to fold all the way to the side. So carefully divide here this line in half and the model will look like this. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing here, making this line go up to this line. So just fold here the same way you did on the other side, going only up to the diagonal. 
Okay, and the model will look like this. Okay, now turn the model over and fold here in half along the diagonal. Now you're going to fold here along this line. Okay, make a valley fold along this line. Only on one layer and the top part is going to open like this. Now you're going to fold here. As you can see, you have three lines, right? You're going to fold from the middle line from one side to the middle line of the other side. Okay, and the model should look like this. Now you're going to fold here this flap upward, okay? And at the same time, you're going to fold here this side here along these lines, making the side of, of the paper on each side go up to the middle line. So it's going to be something like this. And the top part, you're going to adjust here, make the model look like this. Okay, so now you're going to make a fold along this line here. You already have a fold, but you're going to make it stronger. So you can mark the fold on the other side and do the same thing here on the top part. Okay, unfold and now you're going to divide here this line in half. So carefully, you're just going here to fold this line in half like this. Doesn't matter the, the side you're going to fold, if it's a mountain fold or a valley fold, but try to fold it strongly and unfold the paper. It's going to look like this. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing here on the bottom part. Just dividing here the, the line. And the model will look like this. Okay, now you're going to unfold everything up to this point here and turn the model to this position here. Okay, now you're going to fold making this point here go up to this point here. Okay, so pay close attention and you're going to fold exactly like this. Okay, you don't have to fold here all the way up only about this much here. Now you're going to fold, you're going to make a fold that passes through this point here. Okay, and the fold is going to look like this. So let me show you the fold. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to pass through these two points. Okay, now unfold and you're going to inside reverse along this, this line we just made. So it's just like this, you just have to fold along the line we just made to inside. Okay, and the model will look like this. Right? So fold strongly. Okay. And now you're going to make a fold 
making this line here go up to this line here so you're just going to divide this space here in half okay so fold strongly now unfold the paper and fold along this line here we already have the fold but we have to make the fold again just to make it stronger and mark the other side okay so the model will look like this now you're going to fold here making this side of the paper go up to this line here fold strongly now unfold the paper and you're going to fold this side of the paper up to this first line here now you're going to unfold here and you're going to unfold the model up to this point here okay now you're going to fold here making a line exactly here dividing this line in two and also here okay so just fold here like this okay unfold and do the same thing here on the top part okay and the model will look like this okay so now we're going to make here a mark so you're going to fold this line here up to this line here but you don't need to fold strongly you just need to make a mark so pinch here the side okay and fold like this okay so we just made made here a mark and we are going to fold the side of the paper up to this mark Okay, again you don't need to fold it strongly unfold now you're going to fold this line here up to this line here okay. Okay. Now you just need to fold along this line and the model will look like this. Now you have to fold making this point here go up to this point here. Okay, so Okay. So now you're going to fold here, making this side of the paper go up to this line here. And unfold. And the model will look like this okay so now you're going to fold here the side of the paper up to this line here ok 
Okay, so fold strongly. And unfold the paper again. Okay, so now you're going to fold here the side of the paper again, dividing here this line in half. Okay, and unfold the paper. Okay, so now open the paper completely and you're going to fold here this line and as you can see you're going to fold here leaving here two lines okay and you're going to fold the second line downward and the folds going to continue here in this direction Okay, and the model will look like this. Now you're going to fold here this other line upward. And in the same way you're going to continue here this fold to the left, like this. Okay, so now you're going to you're going to pull here this flap. To outside like this and as you can see this side here is going to continue in this place and you have to adjust here this fold okay so the fold will look like this and as you can see this fold here is going to have a different angle from the other folds, okay, and the model will look like this. Right, so now you're going to unfold here, fold strongly, these folds we just made, and unfold. Now do the same thing here. So again, you're going to make here a valley fold along the second line, right? And the fold is going to continue to this direction here. Now make here another valley fold on the first line and the fold is going to continue to this direction. Now pull the flap making here this different angle. Okay and fold strongly And unfold everything again and the model will look like this okay so now you're going to fold the paper like this and you're going to make a fold passing through this point like this So fold strongly here, now unfold and you're going to make now a valley fold along this line, okay. Now you're going to fold making this line here go up to this line, also this line going up to the same line. Okay, so the model will look like this and do the same thing here on the other side and the model should look like this. Okay, now you're going to fold here this side of the paper, I'm sure this line. And at the same time you're going to pull here this trapped layer. 
ok and the top part you have to adjust here so this fold here is aligned with the middle line ok and the model should look like this so now we are going to fold here this line ok let me show you here as you can see you have these two lines right so you're going to continue here just fold along the line you already have and fold all the way up like this and do the same thing here on the other on the next line and unfold the paper and you should have something like this okay now unfold this layer and do the same thing here on the other side so fold here the side of the paper up to the middle line pull here the trapped layer and you're going to adjust this fold and align with the middle line Okay, like this actually you can just fold this flap downward or upward the results are going to, to be the same and here you're going to do the same thing so just fold the top part of this layer of this line like this okay now you're going to open here this top flap like this and you're going to fold the flap upward like in the bird base okay so just like this fold this flap upward okay now as you can see we have here this these lines right so you're just going to fold along these lines and unfold and do the same thing here do the same thing on all the lines okay and unfold the paper and the model is going to look like this okay so now you're going to fold along this line here and you're going to fold the first line after this reference point so this line here Okay, you're going to fold, make a valley fold along this first line and you're going to fold the tip of the paper like this okay so fold strongly and unfold the paper do the same thing here in this line So valley fold, fold the tip strongly and unfold the paper again. Now you're going to do the same thing here on the last line and fold strongly again and this is going to be the result. Okay, now do the same thing here along this line here so again just make here a valley a mountain fold fold 
along this line for the tip unfold and keep doing this keep doing the same thing okay and the model is going to look like this and at this point we just finished making all the crease pattern so now fold here the diagonal and fold make a valley fold here along this line okay fold tip downward okay and fold along this line upward so we are just making the fold that we already made before so it's going to be easier now okay now we are going to make here a crimp fold along these lines so it's going to be something like this you just have to make a inside reverse fold and an outside reverse fold so let me show you how to do it exactly you're just going to make here a mountain fold along the first line okay so you're making here a mountain fold right let me show you it's going to be a little bit difficult to make this Okay, it's a little bit hard to explain exactly what's happening here. It's better to just see here the result. And it's going to be like this. So, I just made here a mountain fold along the first line, right? So, a line that goes here, goes to this direction, then goes downward like this so you just have to make a mountain fold along all this line okay and make here a valley fold along this line here so the second line you're just going to make here a valley fold it's just we're just making here a zigzag okay And this fold is called cream fold and do the same thing here on the other side so let me show again how to make it make here a mountain fold along the first line and a valley fold along the second line Okay, just like this and the model will look like this okay so now okay so now we are going to make here this bird base that we have in the middle of the paper so so as we made it before, it's going to be easier now. Make here a valley fold and open here, spread these two layers like this. Now press the middle line, okay. And you're going to spread here. these other two layers okay like this we just made here the bird base we already made it before so it's going to be easier to fold now 
and the model will look like this in the end. Okay, so in this point here, you're going to make a mountain fold along this, the first line here, okay, and going to this direction. So, just make here the mountain fold, and you're going to make here a valley fold along the second line at the same time. So, to make here the, the mountain fold, you have to squash the paper here in this part, okay? So it's going to be something like this. Right. Okay. And the model will look like this. Now you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So just make here the mountain fold along the first line and the valley fold along the second line. Okay, at the same time you squash this part of the paper. Okay, so as you can see, the top part is not going to lie flat, not yet. So you have to you have to press here this part and try to make it symmetrical. This this one's not looking symmetrical. Okay, so just adjust here the tip making both sides look symmetrical and the model will look like this. Okay. Okay, now fold here this flap a little bit like this just so it won't get in the way of the next fold and you're going to make here a mountain fold along this this and this line here at the same time so it's going to be like this open here and do the same thing on the other side okay so just spread here both layers making the mountain folds okay and the model will look like this so just adjust here a little bit okay the model should look like this okay Right, so the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to unfold this fold we just made. Okay, so fold it strongly, unfold. And here we are going to make the cream fold again. So just make here the mountain fold along the first line, a valley fold along the second line, and so on. Okay, we are going to make the zigzag again. So a mountain fold along this line that goes to this direction then go downward okay so the model will look like this after the first mountain fold so the valley fold along the next line Okay, and keep doing this, so a mountain fold along the next line, a 
find a valley fort here. And the mother will look like this. So, turn them on the over, and you're going to do the same thing here on this side. So, let me show again. Just make here a mountain fold along the first line. Valley fold along the second line. And keep making this zigzag. Okay, and the model will look like this. Okay, so now you're going to fold here. You're going to open these two layers along the lines that we already have. Okay, then you're going to pull here and the fold is going to look like this. It's just a fold that we already made it before. So it's going to be kind of easy to make the fold. Okay, so let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, at this point here, you're going to fold here. You're going to make a mountain fold. I don't know if you can see here, but you're going to make a mountain fold along this first line here up to this point here. So you have to press here the paper from behind and the model is going to look like this. Now make here a valley fold along the second line. And for this you have to press here from the top. As you can see, the side of the paper is going to open like this. Okay, so keep doing the same thing. So a, a mountain fold along the next line. Valley fold, then a mountain fold, always pressing here and making this V-shaped fold on the side of the paper. Okay, so now if you look here, you have to just continue here this fold, this valley fold, okay, to the side and the mountain fold. on this line here okay going to this direction then going downward you just have to fold along the lines that you already have okay. and the model is going to look like this right so you're going to do the same thing here on the other side so let me show you again how to make it Make here a mountain fold along this first line. Okay. Up to the end of the paper. Then make a valley fold along the next line. A mountain fold. A valley fold. Making this zigzag. Okay all the way to this point here. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now you're just going to adjust here the other side, continuing the line to the right direction.
and that's it. The model is going to look like this. Okay, so now you're going to open here this front flap. Then you're going to fold upward and we are going to make here a crimp fold along the lines we already have. So you're just going to open the model a little bit and make here a valley fold, a mountain fold along this triangle here and a valley fold along the inner triangle. So at this point, as you noted already, this origami is just about making those zigzag folds. And well, you could see it by looking the crease pattern already. Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Do the same thing here on the other side. And the model is going to look like this. So let me zoom out here the video again. Then the model, the base here is almost done. Okay. The origami is going to look like this. Now we are going to make here the wings. So you're going to spread here these layers. Okay. Carefully, you're going to open these layers. Okay, and you're going to make here a mountain fold along this second line here. Okay. The second parallel line. You're going to make a mountain fold and you're going to press here the end of this line okay so just press this point and the model is going to look like this right so you're just going to make here this fold okay and the model should look like this now you're going to fold here this flap upward along this angle here this line here with the, the different angle that we made it that we made before so you're going to fold along this line upward and carefully squash the model and the origami is going to look like this. Okay. Now you're going to carefully here fold the zigzag back. Okay. So continue here each of these lines, making the side keep straight. Okay, so you're not going to fold along the lines that we already have, you're making new lines. Okay. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, do the same thing here on the other side. So you're going to spread the layers, make a mountain fold, fold here, the end, okay, and 
now fold the layer upward again and that's it now just fold here the zigzag back okay so the wing is done for now and the model will look like this so the structure is like this this part here is the head this two flaps here are the wings the tail and the legs so now we are going to make here the legs so you're going to open here the side of the paper just a little bit and pull all the layers from this part okay okay the model is going to look like this so now we are going to make this v-shaped folds here we have so just press here the top part of each these triangles and the model is going to spread like this okay then you just fold these two sides back like this now do the same thing here on the next one okay so the model is going to look like this do the same thing here pressing the top part and spreading the layer these two layers okay like this and do the same thing here on the last triangle And the model is going to look like this okay now do the same thing here on the other side so again just pull all the layers from the top okay the model is going to look like this And you're going to press the top part of each triangle. Okay, I'm not folding it really carefully because folding it carefully would take just too long, but I hope you can understand the idea of this origami as you can see it is a complex origami so you have to work a lot on the details later okay so the model now is going to look like this and we just folded all the base of the origami so all the folds from the crease pattern are, are folded this is the tail the legs the wings and the head this part here is going to be the head okay so now you're going to fold here let's fold the head you're going to Fold here this side of the paper up to the middle line. Okay, 
it's going to look like this. Now fold strongly, unfold and you're going to make here a sink fold and something like this. You just have to spread here the layers from this fold and reverse it to inside, okay? And fold it, fold it back and squash the model. So it's going to look like this, do the same thing here on the other side. So just fold the side of the paper up to the middle line, fold strongly, unfold and sink fold. So just reverse the fold to inside and that's it. Okay, so now you're going to hold the whole model like this, okay? In this position here. So this flap to the right. Also this bottom flap here to the right. And the model should look like this, okay? And you're going to fold everything in half like this okay so now it's easier to see the shape of the phoenix okay so now you're going to fold here you're going to hold this part of the model and fold downward like this. Okay. You're going to hold here at this part of the model and press the top part, spreading the layers a little bit then making a curve here and the model should look like this so now you're going to open the bottom part of the head a little bit and fold to inside like this okay now you're going to fold here the tip a small part back to the left like this and make a small curve here a small curve downward like this okay so the head is done okay it's going to look like this so now let's make the wing the wing is going to be something like this. Hold the wing in this position here, okay? And you're going to pull here one layer to the right, okay, like this. So about at this place here, you're going to twist here the paper just a little bit to the right just a little bit downward, okay, like this. So now you're going to take here the second layer and twist a little bit more, okay, and the model is going to look like this. And just keep doing this, so I'm going to take here a third layer and it's going to look like this and if you keep doing this the wing is going to spread Okay. 
And that's it. The wing is now open. So, look in the wing here from the back. It's going to look like this. And you're going to do something like this. You have to take here this tip and fold to inside like this. Okay? So, this tip here, okay? You're going to inside reverse. making this detail in the wing. Okay, so do the same thing here, one more time. And keep doing this on every layer. Okay, and make up to this layer here, and the wing is done. Okay, and the wing is going to look like this. Do the same thing here on the other wing. I'm not going to show all the steps again because it takes too long. So now let's make here the leg. So you're going to fold here the leg to the front, like this, okay? And you're going to make here a valley fold on all the layers together, like this. Okay, now let's zoom in here on the leg. Okay, so for the leg, you're going to fold here just one layer, okay? To the side like this, unfold, and you're going to make a sink fold again, uh, an open sink fold as we did on the head. So it's going to be you have to spread here the layers a little bit to make it easier. And okay, let me show here. And fold and fold to inside like this. Okay. Well this one is not really well made. But the idea is like this. Okay. So you're going to do this, you're going to do the same thing on the next layer, so just fold here the tip to this line, up to this line, unfold, and you're going to sink fold, so open this layer a little bit again, and reverse the fold. Okay, and the model should look like this. Now just repeat the same thing on all the layers here. Narrowing the layers of the claw. And after you make the sink fold on all the layers, the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now you're going to Press here, the sides of the leg, and you're going to pull here the inner layer, okay, the innermost layer, okay, the innermost claw, like this, and fold it 
pointing backward, okay? Just like this. Now, narrow the claw a little bit more and you're going to make a curve here downward. Now, the front part, you're going to spread the layers, narrow each layer here and make a curve on the tip. So basically that's it. On each nail you're going to narrow the layer and make a curve. Okay, now let's zoom out again. So now here on the other leg, you're just going to do the same thing, right? I'm not going to make it right now. Now, the tail, you're just going to fold here all these layers together, okay? You have lots of layers. You're just going to hold everything together like this. And you're going to open here the layers actually just spread here in two parts like this and the tail is actually the easiest part of this origami you don't have to make too many details and just spread the layers like this and make a curve Okay, so it's going to look like this. And basically the model is done. You just have to be more careful on each detail. And here you can see a model that I made with better paper and more carefully. Okay, actually it's the same paper but bigger. So it made it easier for me to make the details. You can see the wings, the tail, this paper here had about 60 centimeters okay that would be about 24 inches and that's it i hope you liked this video even with my bad english and if you liked the video please don't forget to click on the like button or to subscribe to my channel to support my work and that's it thanks for watching see you bye bye